Hello, vinyl community. Happy Saturday. It's a beautiful autumnal Saturday in the Chicagoland area. And this is Broke on Records. Cheers. This, uh, we're going to take a break from the uh, Relapse collection. I only have one more video to do, um, which is just CDs, tapes, and then a couple pieces of vinyl that I uh, forgot to show. And then... Uh, by the time I film that video, I'm going to make a pretty good guess that um, I will have some new relapse pieces to show off as well. So um, we'll resume that at, at a later date. Um, I uh, finally feel uh, positively about uh, bringing back some Vinyl Finds videos and catching up on uh, all the different types of records and CDs that I've gotten in the last few months since whenever the last Vinyl Finds video was. So I'm going to kind of break these down into um, different categories, genres, product types, things like that. Um, so you can sort of pick and choose any, you know, if any these particular topics are of interest to you, um, you can feel free to stick around. This is going to be a 12 inch single update, which I have not done in a very, very long time. Um, Normally what happens with uh, with my buying of 12-inch singles is that I I tend to like to buy a lot of them at, at once in bulk. I'll find there are a bunch of Discog sellers that that's all they do is, is they sell 12-inch singles. And so I'll buy, you know, six or seven from a seller at a time, something like that. Or, you know, there's a couple stores that I frequent that have really nice 12-inch single sections and I'll buy them in bulk. So um, I don't actually think any of these are Discox finds. These are all kind of scattered finds from the last few months from various different record stores, and um, now they're all here in one video. So uh, these are just in alphabetical order, and uh, you can't really get <laughs> um, begin the alphabetical order with any band better than ABC. This is the 12-inch uh, for Be Near Me from the How to Be a Zillionaire album. Um, this, uh, of all the ABC 12 inches, this is the one I see the most, uh, which is why I never, uh, sprung super quickly on picking it up, but found this in the dollar bin somewhere and figured I would get it. This has the, uh, the Munich mix, the ecstasy mix, and then what's your destination, which is sort of, you know, bonus beats, whatever, um, Black Mercury label. Love ABC, one of my all-time favorite uh, 80s bands. And um, I love all their 12-inch mixes. I just, I have the first four albums, but I do not have uh, any of their 12-inches. So I'll probably pick up more of those as I see them. This is a total, total 12-inch grail of mine. I was very stoked to find this recently. Uh, this is the uh, Animatrix, uh, three songs from the soundtrack. Um, I'll be totally honest, I have never seen the Matrix films, um, but the reason I know about the Animatrix is because it has a awesome soundtrack CD with a lot of 90s and uh, early 2000s, this is from 2003, um, electro, big B, UK techno stuff on it, uh, which is the stuff I love a lot. Um, the, uh, I have the soundtrack CD. The soundtrack has never been, uh, released on vinyl in its entirety. They only released this, uh, promotional 12 inch with three songs on it. Um, the A side just happens to be my favorite song from the soundtrack, Junkie XL, uh, doing a track called Red Pill, Blue Pill, which is amazing. Um, you also have Meat Beat Manifesto on the B side and, uh, Tech Itch is the third artist who I am not, uh, very familiar with at all, but you know, super, super stoked to find this. has been in my disguise wantless for a long time. For, you know, for a 12-inch single, it, it goes for a couple bucks, certainly. Um, and I uh, actually found this in the wild, which was very exciting to me. All right, this is a uh, sampler. Uh, not really a sampler. It's a 12-inch single from a uh, DJ sampler series called Area DJ 2005. Um, this was sanctioned by Smart Bar Chicago, which some of you may know I used to work at, um, and Smart Bar 
uh, there's a they put out a handful of, of records in the 2000s of DJs that played there a lot. I have um, a handful of that stuff, uh, but I don't have everything. But I've never seen this sort of area DJ series. Um, so I found this in a super random thrift store, um, which I was not expecting to find any 12-inch find any singles in. Uh, but they actually had a whole box of DJ singles, and I looked through all of them, and this was the only one that really mattered to me. Uh, but this is by an artist named Andy Caldwell, who I admittedly am not familiar with. I don't remember working any Andy Caldwell shows. It's possible I did, but, um, uh, you know, I worked, I, I, when I, I worked at Metro Smart Bar for four years, and for about two of those years, I was working Smart Bar uh, three to four nights a week, so that I don't remember every single DJ that played. Uh, but this is fine, you know, Chicago House, electronic music. This is something I probably will not listen to a ton, but because of my personal connection to it uh, is why I picked it up. Uh, okay, one of the couple rock singles I have to show, this one I found <coughs> at the uh, Chirp Record Fair at Pitchfork Fest, which I've shown, I've kind of been showing all the records I bought from that hall, sort of piecemeal in different videos and Instagram posts and... Um, figured I'd show this one here. Uh, one of my favorite underrated hair metal hard rock bands, Danger Danger. This is the 12 inch for Monkey Business uh, from the second album, Screw It. Uh, this has Monkey Business on the A side um, and on the B side, uh, it has two songs from the uh, self-titled Danger Danger album, Naughty Naughty and Boys Will Be Boys. Uh, I have an awesome Danger Danger Live 12 inch that uh, Josh Flipside vclt my way a while ago. I am uh, still on the hunt to get the LP on vinyl, one of my biggest hair metal grails uh, to get the vinyl of the first album. But nice uh, picture disc. This thing is mixed hot. This is a loud record, <laughs> which is kind of interesting considering it was released in 1991 and it's a picture disc. Um, not that it sounds, I mean, it, it sounds decent for a, a 35 year old picture disc, but uh, comes with this huge ass band poster, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, you know, Danger Danger, they were not around for a uh, particularly long time. They only have two two proper studio albums, I think, and then obviously a handful of smatterings of 12 inches and promo singles and stuff. So, um, but because of the time they were around, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, vinyl of this band is uh, somewhat difficult to track down. So I was uh, very happy to find that and nice little collectible pictures format. Uh, okay, this uh, I was very excited to find. This is one of my favorite um, electro bands of the 2000s, the MySpace era. Uh, this is Does It Offend You? Yeah, that's the name of the band. Um, this is the 12 single four, Let's Make Out. Uh, if you were on MySpace in the 2000s, like I said, um, this band was very popular. Uh, I love this stuff. This is total electro clash, dance punk, party rock. Uh, if you like your peaches and your LCD sound systems and, uh, bands of that ilk, uh, this band is totally in that lane. They put out two full length albums. The first album is amazing. The second album is, uh, I have not heard it in a while, but I remember it being not nearly as good. Uh, but the first album has a ton of great tracks. Dawn of the Dead, Battle Royale, um, We Are Rockstars, and Let's Make Out. Uh, so this has three versions. The album version, extended dub, and extended mix. Um, nice promo 12-inch. Again, not a band on vinyl that is particularly easy to find. Um, I think the album that uh, this came off of was only pressed once. It's uh, very expensive. But uh, yeah, just black vinyl, but it does come with a sticker sheet, which is very nice. I was stoked, stoked to find this. I didn't, I until I saw this, I actually kind of assumed that they didn't have any vinyl releases at all. So nice uh, little, again, I, I, I grip with using the term nostalgia because if I still like it, am I nostalgic about it? Or do I like it because I'm nostalgic about it? That I don't know. Uh, this, uh, I've said, is my second favorite 12-inch mix of all time. This is Thomas Dolby with Hyperactive. I have the uh, Record Store Day version of this that came out a number of years ago, which I thought was 
an absolutely insane pick for a record store day release. It seemed like it was targeted to me and exclusively me. Uh, but I bought that, of course, but I've never had the original. Um, so this has the, what's the track list on here? This has the Heavy Breather Subversion, which is uh, a banger. Like I said, my second favorite 12-inch mix. My favorite 12-inch mix is uh, The Cure's Why Can't I Be You. Uh, but yeah, this has the Heavy Breather Subversion on side A, and then the B side is Get Out of My Mix uh, by Dolby's Cube. Um, which I don't know is, I don't know if that one's on the, on the record story 12 inch. I think the RSD 12 inch is just the album version, the 12 inch mix, and maybe a different song. But anyway, found this cheap. I had to have it. Uh, this is a 12 inch grail of mine. I've been looking for this for a long time. Um, it's never popped up on any discogs stores i've come across um i just have to find this at uh, reckless actually one of the last times i was at reckless this is dominatrix with dominatrix sleeps tonight uh awesome sexy club banger uh this is from 1984 this has uh four versions of it uh standard some bonus beats and stuff and then a uh, a remix on the b-side I, re I discovered that Get On Down actually did like a comprehensive reissue of this that had every single mix of this plus some B-sides and stuff. That seems like it's a bit rare now to get, but uh, almost near mint picture sleeve copy of this that I found the OG, which I was very, very happy about. Um, sort of a, I hesitate to call it a novelty club track, but if you're into sort of, you know, 80s club music, this is a song that absolutely sticks out. I was very excited to find that. So I found this in the cheap ends, and you might be thinking, why did that stick out to you? Well, it stuck out to me because how could it not? <laughs> it's just a white sleeve. And so I looked inside to see what might be in it. It was it just a record that was missing its jacket, or was it something else? Well, this is, uh, it, it's... The idea of it is exciting. I will admit the actual music on it, I don't know if it's particularly exciting. But this is a test press 12 inch single. Uh, but let me explain why I bought this other than the fact that it's a test press. Um, so this is a group called The Fit. Um, to my understanding, they were a very uh, short lived kind of R&B electro funk band from the late 80s uh, featuring members of other R&B electro funk bands. The uh, name of the single is Under Your Spell, uh, which, you know, if I saw the regular 12 inch for this, I wouldn't care. Uh, but one is the test pressing. Two, this is a test pressing from Electrosound Midwest, Shelbyville, Indiana. Uh, which one is not located too far from me, particularly not too far from where uh, my girlfriend grew up. But for you record collector nerds and audiophile nerds, you may be familiar with Electrosound. Um, they were doing a lot of stuff in the uh, late 70s through the 80s, uh, doing these sort of budget audiophile vinyl pressings um, that you can identify by them having translucent vinyl. Um, a and M Records has a lot of them. IRS Records has a lot of them. Um, I think Jive has a couple. I have a couple Jive Records that have it. Um, so if you have any sort of alternative uh, funk, synth pop, etc. albums from certain labels that were pressing things through Electro Sound, uh, you may have some cool translucent uh, audiophile vinyl on your hands. Um, it's similar to the Key X process or Qui X process. Um, so I don't think I can actually, oh, actually, I bought a LED light for this specific purpose. And I don't think I've actually used it on camera. So you can see there, it's shining right through because it is a uh, translucent record. So I, I have a ton of stuff from, from Electrosound. I seek these pressings out when I can, uh, but I've never had a test pressing of it, so I just thought that was unique. And it was only a buck, so it's not like I shelled out. This is not rare at all. You could get this, I think, for, I think people have it on Discogs for like five. So, you know, I don't care at all about the, the, the rarity of this, just sort of a, a personally unique 
single to me. All right, this next one is a absolute 80s uh, underground classic for me. Uh, this is Fun Fun is the name of the band. The song is called Color My Love. Uh, I am not, uh, for as much as I love 80s club tracks and, and remixes and things like that and, and singles, um, uh, Italo disco and Italian um, electro and synth pop music is not something I am an expert on. Uh, there's a couple artists that I enjoy and I listen to and I keep my eyes out for when I'm in the bins, but for the most part, uh, I'm not uh, really an expert on any of the Italian stuff. I know a lot of people that's their bread and butter, uh, but I do love Fun Fun. Um, I, I don't think they ever put out a full length album. They just put out a lot of singles and then you can find like, you know, the best of Fun Fun CD that has all the singles on it. Um, but this was their big main track called My Love. I have a US version of this. Uh, but this is a uh, Netherlands pressing, um, and, you know, it's not a band I see 12 Inches From a lot. I have um, three other songs. I have a U.S. version of Call My Love. Um, I have uh, a 12 Inch where they cover uh, Give Me Some Lovin' by Spencer Davis, I believe, and then um, a, a third song whose name I can't remember. But basically, anytime I see them in the wild, I'm going to pick it up because it doesn't show up very often. So, uh, and this is has all the same songs <laughs> that are on the U.S. Color My Love. But again, it was cheap, import copy, and again for a band that uh, doesn't show up a ton. So, but yeah, keep your eyes on for Fun Fun. Those songs are uh, the band is aptly named. <laughs> Uh, this is the 12 inch single for Living in a Box by the band Living in a Box featured on the album Living in a Box. This is uh, 1987 on Chrysalis. Um, this has the, uh, the dance mix, uh, the penthouse mix, and the edited dance mix. Uh, this is the promo copy on Chrysalis. This is also, oh, I put the light away. This is also a uh, Electrosound translucent pressing of this. Um, and what's cool about the living in a box stuff on Chrysalis is all the electro sound pressings. Um, not only are they gold stamped, but they are, uh, identified on the label as well as a separate promo copy, which is cool. So, uh, I have the, you know, triple hit promo electro sound press of the album living in a box. So it was happy to find the 12 and single as well. Uh, this was a Goodwill find. It, it, admittedly, I didn't really need this, um, but I just thought it was unique that it was in a Goodwill. Um, it's not particularly rare or anything, but I figured why not? I'll bring it home. I like the band. I don't have any other stuff on vinyl. Uh, and this is a 12 inch single from Midnight Oil. Um, this is the promo for Power and the Passion from their uh, Countdown album. Uh, and the B-sides are Glitch Baby Glitch and Wedding Cake Island. Um, cool 12 inch. I like Minato a lot. I, uh, it, the few records I had by them, I got rid of. And then I had this idea that I was going to buy all their CDs and then I didn't. So I don't know. This is, you know, it's one of those things that was cool and cheap to find, but it's not worth anything to try to sell. So I'll just kind of hang on to it for a while. Um, if I find the Countdown album, it'll be a nice, uh, pairing for that. This was a total blind buy. Uh, this was sealed when I bought it, but, uh, this was in a dollar bin at a record store called 606 Records, which is in Pilsen. Um, 606, uh, caters to sort of a more, um, electronic and jazz and hip hop, uh, world beat type of stuff. They have a lot of 12 inch singles, as you can imagine. Uh, but yeah, this is in their dollar rock bin. Um, and of course it was sealed. I saw the hype sticker special edition on blue vinyl. And I said, that's coming home with me no matter what. Uh, so this is, uh, John Moore and the expressway is the name of the band. The song is called out of my mind. This is uh, 1989 on Polydor. Uh, this has two versions of the title track. Um, a song called live from death row and a cover of Hoochie Coochie man. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is uh, kind of a noisier alternative rock style thing, kind of like a post Jesus and Mary Chain 
style sounding band. Uh, really, really cool. I will absolutely be keeping my eyes out for any records or other 12 inches by this band. But yeah, it was unfamiliar to me. There's that nice blue vinyl on Polydor. So yeah, nice little uh, blind buy for a buck. Uh, this is another single that I had, um, I already had a US version of, but I, this is one of my favorite uh, songs from the 80s, and this is another band that they don't have a lot of material, so whenever I see it, I pick it up. Uh, this is Rubber Rodeo with The Hardest Thing. This is a, uh, uh, this is a UK press. Let's see. Uh, I think so. It says Polygram New York, but I feel like because it has the thin sleeve, it's a it's a UK import. Um, but yeah, I love Rubber Rodeo. Uh, I believe they're a Canadian band, um, or maybe they're a UK band and I have a Canadian pressing of it, which, which might be the case. Uh, but yeah, they're one of those kind of new wave alt country bands. Um, and the, the first album I love so, 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 so much. And the hardest thing is my absolute favorite song that they do. So I have a, a, a U.S. promo of it, but found this in, uh, the 12 inch cheap bin at, uh, Sugar Records and was happy to pick it up. Um, this has, uh, a 12 inch version of the hardest thing, the seven inch version of the hardest thing and a cover of walking after midnight. Uh, if you don't know Rubber Rodeo and you like your, like I said, your new wave and your sort of uh, twangy new wave of the time, check that out. Uh, a couple more here. This is video. I was talking about these a lot longer than I thought. Uh, I had never heard of this. I was watching uh, Classic Jam. That's uh, K-L-A-S-S-I-C Jam. Um, he is a uh, awesome YouTuber that I've been following for a number of years. He doesn't put out videos a ton and maybe once every couple months. Uh, but he is super into 12 inch singles, new wave synth pop, and I love watching his uh, videos when he picks his stuff up. Um, he's always incredibly excited about every record he, he buys, which is uh, very infectious. And he was talking about this band, and this was a band I was not familiar with, so when I saw this in the dollar bin, I figured I would grab it. This is Will to Power. Uh, this is from 1988. Uh, this is sort of late 80s club house music, um, you know, similar to your CNC Music Factory, stuff like that. This is the 12 inch for Say It's Gonna Rain. This has the extended instrumental and 808 acapella. Uh, this is cool. I liked this a lot, actually. Uh, very much my speed. I'll be keeping my eyes out for the full length LP, but nice uh, inch shrink hype sticker copy of the 12 inch. Nice little tune. This is the 12 inch for Karen White uh, Hunga from 1994. Um, I have the first Karen White album. I like it quite a bit. Um, I don't actively seek out her stuff, but uh, if this was just a regular ass 12 inch, I wouldn't have even bothered probably. But I noticed something even through the inner sleeve that was on white vinyl uh, for Karen White. So for a buck, I uh, grabbed that for sure. Cool song. It's got uh, four different versions of it. Nice. Uh, I said this is kind of mid 90s sort of R&B hip house type of stuff. And lastly, this is uh, Rex and Effect, Knockin' Boots. I have been on the hunt for the Rump Shaker 12-inch for a very, very, very long time. Anytime I see on Discogs, it's either way too expensive or uh, it's totally beat to shit. Um, the album would be nice, but uh, I, uh, I'm really dying to get the Rump Shaker 12-inch if I can find it. But I found this one for a buck, and this is also a uh, rock-solid uh, 90s hip-hop 12 inches from 1993, it looks like, 92. Um, this has the chant radio mix, the instrumental, and the bonus dub. So it's a nice, nice kind of beefy 12 inch of all versions of the track. Um, but yeah, love, love the Rex and FX stuff that I've heard. Um, I don't, uh, I don't ever see the album. I think it got reissued by Get On Down recently or one of those, one of those, uh, labels. But there's 12. All right. 24 minutes. That's, uh, 2 by 12. See you in the next one.